Well, snap, here we go. Got this thing working. Okay, so Daily Flames going live again for you. Um, and uh, my sweet client, Jessica, um, she's kind of a pusher. <laughs> Not really, she's very sweet, but she got me to, you know, ask me to kind of, what time can we expect the Daily Flames live every day? And so, we're saying 9.30. We said 9 a.m., but my dragon dog, uh, we had some dragon dog snafus this morning. We have kids leaving, like summertime, you know, your house, if you have teenagers, is like a hotel. Totally fine, right? But it makes committing to time, commitment is a big word here, um, which is something we're going to talk about, right? So, our Daily Flames today, we're going to talk about is and yesterday went longer right so if you didn't get to see that you still should because it was really awesome um, about how to overcome fear right and how to deal with that but it was long this one will be shorter i promise i'm working on it uh, good morning jessica i don't know how to like do but hearts and stuff you guys can do hearts and stuff but um i'll get that eventually so what we're talking about today is is your is your nutrition coaching, uh, is your nutrition coaching search like online dating? And it totally is, you guys. So I don't know if you know this, but online dating sucks. Uh, if you don't do it, I think it's awesome for you. Stay away from it. It's, it just sucks. Like it's channel surfing, you know, like swipe left, swipe, swipe right. There's no real substance to it. It's really hard to connect uh, with people because it's robotic, right? So, if your nutrition coaching is robotic, you're not gonna be able to really connect with that. And if you're not really able to connect with something that is one of the most personal things to you, like for crying out loud, your health, your fitness, you know, our body image issues, right? If you're not connecting with the people that are helping you uh, with that, if it's a robotic uh, relationship, like online dating, you're not gonna connect with it, right? And that's online, that's you know the fail of online dating, right? So I don't care which one you do, if it's if it's paid or not, if it's robotic, it's it's not good. No bueno. Okay, so um, but with with you know the liking online dating to nutrition coaching and all the options, I hope that you're swiping left on the douchey ones, okay? <laughs> so that means anything robotic, right? If you do online dating, I'm sure you've like gotten like the robotic messages. Super weird, crazy. Yeah, you got it, Gilly. <laughs> no robots. I mean, in any aspect of your life, we are human beings. We are like, like, so we just started, and this is gonna make this go longer, so keep it short, but Westworld, we just started watching that, and to me it's so fascinating. Uh, that these robots are created into humans that aren't supposed to feel, but they're starting to feel. So I hope for you that you really start to feel and realize how human you are and how much you need human coaching in your life, right? Anything going off of templates or robotic stuff, it will get you so far. Depending on where you are in your journey, it will get you to a certain point, but you're gonna get stuck, right? Because without the feels, you know, without like the human connection, it's gonna fail, right? Like freaking online dating, you know? Like, it's crazy. So, I hope you're swapping left on the douchey ones. What I mean by that is like, the ones that are only focused on the surface as well, right? Well, if you're only focused on your macros, which we're gonna call that our surface uh, stuff, you're not digging into what's underneath. What is inside those macros? What is inside those macros and what is it doing to your body, right? Um, and if you have a robot or templates giving you those macros, you, you're probably getting too much of something or maybe too little of something, but more times than not, it's, it's too much. If a robot just keeps handing it out, like, uh, you know, one of the, it reminds me of Mr. Rogers, all the factory machines. But anyhow. Um, so the douchey ones, right? So swipe left on the ones that are focus surface. What's inside those macros, right? You want people who are gonna look deeper. Same thing with dating, right? You don't want a guy who's like, what's up? Like every time I get on or, or every time I see this person or see a message, what's up? It's the same message. And the dude's like laying in bed, like, you know, like he's half asleep with his shirt off. Like that's not sexy, <laughs> okay? So 
You want people in your life that are going to look deeper into you, you as a human being. Um, and that includes your coaches. Uh, so, and then the other piece is, I, personally for me, I need to date someone who knows how to talk to me or even just have, you know, like even this, right? If you're gonna do this and if it's online dating, uh, know how to talk to people, right? Because every person is different. You have to be able to shift as a coach and do the same thing. You can't type the same freaking thing to everybody and expect that they are going to like break through their plateaus. It's not going to happen because we're all different. We all have different things that make us tick, right? So that's one of my things is, is even with dating. I need somebody who knows how to have a conversation with me, right? So um, another one is somebody who challenges me, right? We can just kind of go through the same like, how was your day? Well, how was your day? Great. How was your day? Great. It's robotic, right? So that's not challenging me. It's not making me think. It's not making me like want to be a better person or, or thinking what awesome things I can add to my day or my life. You know, like you want things that are going to inspire you and stimulate you uh, to be more, right? What else can you do? What else can you get out of your days on this earth? Um, so the other is... Um, but there was something else that I wanted to tell you guys is really important. I had some dude message me and be like, can you, um, can you send me, uh, more pictures? Because all your pictures, your face is really funny and, uh, your pictures are kind of far away. And then I'm like, <laughs> dude, I didn't realize you were like a smile model, <laughs> you know, like. Who does that, right? So you don't want people who are focusing on the surface. Same thing with your nutrition coaching. You don't want a nutrition coaching company that is solely focused on what's on the surface, right? You want people to, to dig deeper. Funny story, I'm very self-conscious about uh, not being able to smile. Like most girls know how to smile. I'm not, I don't really know how to smile, right? I have never had those lessons. Like I see pictures of all these pictures online, these these girls smile. I smile like a stroke victim most of the time. Yeah, it's just I realize that I, it's kind of like the Tina Fey thing. I don't. It just is what it is. So, so that that guy that said that did not make me happy. Um, so, but anyhow, if your nutrition coaching company is doing the same things, you know, everything is on the surface. If they're not, here's how I look at dating, right? If you're not bringing something positive to my life, if you are not a positive add to my life, I don't need you in it. And that's really how you should view everything in your life, every relationship in your life, including your nutrition coaching, right? If you are constantly kind of being berated or picked apart by your nutrition coaching company, you need to get out, right? Because that is toxic. And that is, what that does is it attacks your self-worth, makes you feel less about yourself, which I kind of feel like is a little bit of a strategy for some nutrition coaching companies to try to keep you there, right? If you feel really shitty about yourself, you're always gonna be looking to them to make you feel better. That's like pretty much called an abusive relationship. So if that's the case, get the heck out of Dodge, right? You want everybody in your life the people surrounding you to inspire you, to bring you positivity. Now, does it mean that they have to, you know, always have the magic wand when they come around? I try, but I know I don't have that, right? It, however, you don't want people around you that are being negative. You do want to know that, you know, because everybody has off days too, right? But you do want to know that at the end of the day, the people you're choosing, the nutrition coaches you're choosing, the your training coaches that you're choosing are all people that are adding value to your life, right? Just the same as, you know, hopefully you're going about your days as how can I add a value to other people? The more you do that, the more you kind of live in a way of giving and how can I impact, how can I inspire, how can I help other people? It's gonna come back to you, right? You're gonna start attracting those same kind of people. It's really crazy awesome. So, so don't tolerate you know any BS, any surface stuff, any mediocrity. Make sure you're making the right decisions. Uh, swipe left on the douchey ones. If they're not adding something amazing to your life, they don't deserve to be in it, right? So, um, all right. I hope you guys, guys. I'm sorry. This went really long again. I don't can't even see how long right now, but. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed it and swipe left on the douchey ones and make sure you are um, bring you know adding positivity so that it can be something that you draw into your life as well so and if you need help obviously message me you can message me here or my website redphoenixnutrition.com all right you guys i'll talk to you soon i hope you enjoyed it without any filters today